Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Uh, welcome to something a little bit different. I am a video game channel. I talk about video games. Sometimes I talk about uh, real life personal stuff, but today we are going to be talking about The Walking Dead. Normally, I wouldn't do this sort of thing. I've wanted to do this before, but after a couple days, I'm like, nah, it really doesn't fit into my channel, but I've just got to tell somebody and you are the only beautiful people that I have so I'm going to tell you you're the only ones I got but anyway let's talk about what just happened in The Walking Dead if you are not caught up to this episode already I'm sure you've been warned many times here on the internet but again warning spoilers don't look unless you've seen season 6 episode 3 thank you so it, there is this big scene uh, about three-fourths of the way into uh, the episode where uh, one of the, two of the main characters, I, I'm assuming you've seen it up to this point, Nicholas and Glenn are on top of a dumpster. Uh, Nicholas puts a gun to his head, he says thank you, and he kills himself, and he falls, his dead body falls on Glenn so that they both fall off of the dumpster and then get ripped to shreds in the big herd of zombies that they were trying to get away from Alexandria. And the way I described it is just about exactly how it goes down uh, in the actual show. And by that, I mean, we don't know for sure. The, uh, the uh, filmers didn't accurately or clearly portray who was getting eaten, who's dead, and who's alive. And for that reason... I'm not the biggest fan of this moment. In my brain, there are three, and well, I guess maybe four, but there's three main possibilities that I think uh, very well could happen. Either way, it's 50-50, or I guess it's like 33, 33, 33, uh, of these possibilities happening, so let's run through them really quickly. Possibility number one, Glenn is actually dead. If you watch the scene, I'm sure you can YouTube it now, uh, if you watch this the scene, it sure does look like they wanted you to think Glenn is being ripped to shreds. It looks like, you know, there's blood on top of them, they're pulling guts out of them and everything. However, the way that Nicholas's body fell, the way he fell into the crowd of zombies, uh, it looked like from the previous little scene, not scene, but uh, shot, that Nicholas's body fell on top of Glenn. Now the shot where you see Glenn on the pavement, you don't really see Nicholas's body on his upper chest. However, when you switch to the shot where they're ripping, you know, something above his chest to show blood and stuff, it doesn't look like his body. Now, that could be because it's not actually his body. Of course, it's a television show. They have something on top of them that the actors are pulling and making blood and, you know, zombie guts and all that sort of stuff. That's a very real possibility. Glenn is dead, you know, they torn him to bits and all that sort of stuff. The reason that I wouldn't be a fan of that is because it didn't look like they were dedicated to it. And that's what's really fishy to me, you know? It doesn't, like we've seen actors and, and main characters with their guts open. In season two, we had Daryl, or no, not Daryl, but Dale, Dale, uh, get his stomach ripped open, you know? And he was dying, you know? We've had um, other people being bit. We had uh, Tyrese. Uh, we even had, you know, the people from season 5 last season, he got his, like, guts ripped open, he was screaming, it was one of the most brutal deaths uh, ever, and, oh, I forget the kid, everybody hates Chris, that's all I know him by. That was one of the most brutal scenes in The Walking Dead, it was brilliant, but we've seen actors get torn apart before they are not afraid to show that. So why didn't they clearly and accurately portray that with Glenn? It's really fishy. Now in my brain, uh, the, the title of the episode, Thank You, is a very beautiful, uh, just destroyed world uh, that they're living in. I think it's a really good ironic theme that they've got going on. Uh, the theme of, you know, do we trust people? Do we give people second chances? How is that going to bite us in the butt in the future? Morgan, last episode uh, in the town of Alexandria, he let a couple wolves go away alive. And because of that, they were able to go to Rick and ultimately kind of shut down his RV by because Rick killed them all. But, you know, they put or, or Morgan put Rick in danger for giving the wolves a second chance. Nicholas, uh, the guy who said thank you to Glenn, uh, tried to kill Glenn, has been known for leaving people behind. But Glenn gave him a second chance, a third chance, a fourth chance. And for Nicholas to say thank you for all that is beautifully ironic. And for Glenn to die 
because he gave grace, because he gave forgiveness and a second chance, and he believed in somebody who was not built or was not trained for the zombie apocalypse, is a very, very cool and interesting theme that I think The Walking Dead very well portrays. However, they should have gone for it. They should have shown more. They should have clearly shown Glenn dying rather than something happening where guts were being pulled on him. It's, it's just fishy. I feel like they should have dedicated themselves to it because it would have been a better storytelling moment uh, for the time for the episode. So that's possibility number one. Glenn is dead. Possibility number two... Glenn is not dead. Now this one I'm not the biggest fan of because it would mean that the the writers don't have the <clears throat> guts to uh, to kill off a character like that. Now the reason for that I'm not entirely sure. Uh, again, I've sh I've displayed why I do think a Glenn death would be meaningful. I don't want it to happen. I cried almost. Well, I didn't cry, but I almost cried uh, tonight because you know he has a wife and everything, and just bringing it up is just like ah, it's horrible. I hate it, but. It would make sense. So having him go through that and still be alive the way he could still be alive is um, Nicholas did, from my perspective, from the first time I watched it, it really looked like he was on top of Glenn and he was being eaten on top of Glenn. And Glenn's screams and his uh, kind of reaction was a lot similar. Noah, that's his name. When Noah was dying, you know, he saw through the glass door and that's a horrifying moment to see your friend just get ripped apart and to be like literally underneath a person being ripped apart by walkers and zombies. It's got to be tragic. It's got to be terrifying. It's got to be traumatic. And I don't think mentally anybody would not scream and freak out like that in a herd of zombies. Like they did a really good job uh, filming that scene, seeing all of the details of the walkers and just that surrounded claustrophobic and overwhelming feeling. Uh, it would make sense for Glenn to scream and make those horrified uh, facial expressions uh, if he were being, uh, if Nicholas were being eaten on top of him. And the walking dead is a television show, but they have established that if you get walker guts on you, that they, they cannot smell you, and it works sort of as a repellent, not a repellent, but you can kind of uh, stick to the crowd, you can blend in a little bit if the walkers cannot smell you. However, it, it, if Nicholas was being ripped alive, you know, it's human blood, and I'm just not entirely sure how they're going to write themselves out of it if, Ni or if Glenn was alive. Furthermore, I don't see why he should be alive. I, I don't see, you know, him coming back uh, to Alexandria alive, telling people about Nick. I don't see that having an emotional impact or a, a meaning in the story. And overall, it's just an unsettling moment. And they've gone, like, uh, on Talking Dead. I think they do some sort of memoriam. Apparently, I've read on the internet that they show each and every death of the, of the thing and... Uh, They've shown everybody, even Nicholas, except Glenn, which is really, really fishy. And I think uh, somebody said that they are not done with Glenn's body character thing. They left it really ambiguous, so I'm not entirely sure. Now, they have seen uh, people who follow the shoot. They have seen uh, Glenn on set, which means absolutely nothing. They've kept characters uh, on set after they were they've died because... For whatever reason, they're like friends or family or, you know, whatever. It's just, it, it means nothing that Glenn, uh, the Stephen Ewan, was on set uh, after his death. It, it, it's just something people like to think about. So that's possibility number two. That would be the one that I'm not really satisfied with. That would be, like, the worst case scenario in terms of, like, writing, storytelling, in my opinion. But there is a third possibility, and that Glenn is now a walker you know he got bitten somehow which would make sense because having a body on top of you uh them eating it and then them you know biting you on the leg and just not being able to physically get to get to your body yet you could be a walker and then by that time they're not interested in eating you again that would make sense so now glenn is part of the zombie herd and whatever happens to the herd, whether they're leading them away from Alexandria or if they're killing uh, all the zombies before they get to Alexandria because we know half of them uh, went off and now um, Rick can't get the RV started because he shot it. Um, but to have that moment where people are just going at zombies and then all of a sudden stop 
and see Zombie Glenn, you know, because they don't know. Nobody knows what happened to Glenn. They just know that he went off with Nicholas and he hasn't been back yet. So to have them killing zombies, and I think it, it might be Rick. It should be Rick. That one of his own is now a walker to see Zombie Glenn. And we've seen Zombie Glenn before. We Or we, not Glenn before, but we've seen main characters as zombies before. We've seen uh, Merle, Daryl's brother, as a zombie. We've seen a freaking 12-year-old a girl. I don't think she was 12, but a little girl. A zombie fight who was a main character. We've seen her zombie fight. I think it would be... It would kind of redeem that moment of obscurity of what actually happened to Glenn. To have him be a part of the herd. And it would just be so symbolic of this whole world that even the strongest can be brought down by the way. And I think that would be... At this point, that would be my favorite scenario to have him back as a walker. Because that would make the most sense in a story-wise fashion as a directional fashion. And, and it's just as a uh, filming-wise filming, filming wise as to why they didn't show exactly who was being eaten alive and whatnot. But there you go. Those are my thoughts on The Walking Dead. You didn't ask for them. You didn't need them. But I gave them to you anyway. That's just what I thought. And I'm sure some of you guys are Walking Dead fans out there. So leave a like if you did enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until the next absolutely beautiful morning, I'll catch up with you guys later. And as always, have a great day.